I wanted to do a review today on a foundation that I've been trying lately. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation with SPF sun 15 sunscreen in there. And it looks like this. So it comes in this packaging that's kind of like a tube almost that you squeeze. And it has this little bamboo lid at the bottom, which I believe is like kind of what Tarte is known for, is they're like bamboo-esque things. Like they have like a bamboo brush and, and all kinds of things like that. So it says it's 12 hour makeup and it's oil free. So I like that because I tend to be combination oily skin. I'm um, definitely more toward there and not, I don't really have dry, dry skin. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little up, like a little rundown on what the box says about it and then what I think about it. It says it helps prevent sunburn if used as directed with other sun protection measures. It says it has skin invigorating ingredients, water, mineral pigments, vitamin E, sodium, hyaluronic, and Amazonian clay, and it's cruelty free. My color is light neutral, light skin with yellow and pink undertones because I definitely am like in between pink and yellow. I, what do I think about this? I think this is a great full coverage foundation. I've been really wanting to try it. I've seen a lot of girls on Instagram using it. Not that many people on YouTube, I feel, use this, which is kind of weird to me. I think maybe it was um, all the rage at one point and now it's not so much the rage. But anyway, I think it's a great full coverage foundation. I've tried it with a brush, I've tried it with my fingers, and I've tried it with a beauty blender. Um, I think fingers work best, however, I don't like to do it that way because I don't like to have dirty hands. I know that's weird. I know that's only like temporary because I keep makeup wipes like literally right over there. But I don't like dirty hands, so um, I don't like to use it with my finger. I use, I prefer the beauty blender. And what I do is I do use my finger and I just kind of like dab it in a, almost like a less than sign. You know what I mean? Like, pew, pew. And then I do the same thing over here to kind of come to a point where my cheeks are. And then I'll do a few dabs here, 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 and up here, right? So what this is on days that I really want a full coverage face. This is a day that I'm not feeling super natural. As you can tell, today's not natural day. Today is glam day. And so I'll do that, and then I just take a beauty blender, a damp one, this one's like dirty, but, and then I just take it and I just pat it in all over. And I just really work it into my skin and you can do multiple layers. I find that in my problem areas I might need two and then if that's like I still have problems then I'll move on to concealer because you can get too cakey with this I've found. What I do is I also set it with a loose setting powder. I personally have been using the Ben Nye Buff powder. I also use it under my eyes and I just use it all over my face and then I am just put my blush over it and there you go. So I actually really, really enjoy it. I don't, I can't speak to the um, sunscreen aspect of it. I don't usually stay out in the sun long enough to get a sunburn. I'm not really interested in testing that out for you guys, sorry. Um, but I'm sure that they did put it in there, which means that if they do take a picture, it's probably gonna have a little bit of flashback. So you may not wanna use this if you are having a photo shoot, getting married, or going out for the night, or maybe you just don't care. I have been known to just not care. But um, I like how it looks in person, so I will usually not give a crap about what it looks like in pictures. But, um, but yeah, so that's just one thing to be wary of with any sort of foundation that has a SPF sunscreen in it is if it has that, you may get that whole ghost face thing going on. Um, this retails at Sephora for $38. Shoot, I'm, I'm not sure. Look right here and I'll put the real price or look down below where I'll link it and it'll, I'll research it, but I'm pretty sure it was $38. I only bought this and I think I bought brush cleaner one day when I went there. Oh no, I brought this and my I bought something for my mom. I can't remember, like brows, something. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, I believe it was $38 because our total came out to like 60 something. You know, it's pretty much in the middle. It's not the most expensive foundation. It's not the cheapest foundation. It's just, you know, kind of right there in the middle. I definitely give it a thumbs up if you're looking for a full coverage foundation. I really like how soft and silky it is. It does feel like it kind of has like a mousse texture to it. It's not liquidy. It's not runny. Um, and it's not, it's just very like, 
You know the Revlon whipped foundation? It's a little bit more moosier than that. I don't think that's a word, but you know what I mean, moosier. <laughs> word of the day my word of the day. So anyway, um, I really did enjoy this and I hope you guys like this little review. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Bitches always be calling. Bitches.